So you're telling me it's a matter of probability and odds? I was worried there was some chance involved. Well, any of you assume the player with the best hand wins. So that will be what you call bluffing. You've heard the term. Then you'll also know that in poker you never play your hand. You play the man across from you. And you're good at reading people. Yes, I am. Which is why I've been able to detect an undercurrent of sarcasm in your voice. I'm now sure our money isn't good hands. You don't think this is a very good plan, do you? So there is a plan. I got the impression we were risking millions of dollars and hundreds of lives on a game of luck. What else can you surmise, Mr. Bond? About you, Miss Lynn? Well, your beauty's a problem. You worry you won't be taken seriously. Which one can say of any attractive woman with half a brain? True, but this one overcompensates by wearing slightly masculine clothing, being more aggressive than her female colleagues, which gives her a somewhat prickly demeanor. And ironically enough, makes it less likely for her to be accepted and promoted by her male superiors, who mistake her insecurities for arrogance. Now, I'd have normally gone with only child, but, um... You see, by the way you ignored the quip about your parents, I'm gonna have to go with orphan. All right. By the cut of your suit, you went to Oxford or wherever. I actually think human beings dress like that. But you were it with such disdain. My guess is you didn't come from money, and your school friends never let you forget it. Which means you were at that school by the grace of someone else's charity, hence the chip on your shoulder. And since your first thought about me ran to orphan, that's what I'd say you are. Well, you are. <laughs> I like this poker thing. And that makes perfect sense. Since MI6 looks for maladjusted young men, I'd give little thought to sacrificing others in order to protect Queen and Country. You know, former SAS types with easy smiles and expensive watches. Rolex? Amiga. Beautiful. Now, having just met you, I wouldn't go as far as calling you a cold-hearted bastard. Yeah, of course not. But it wouldn't be a stretch to imagine. You think of women as disposable pleasures rather than meaningful pursuits. So as charming as you are, Mr. Bond, I will be keeping my eye on our government's money and off your perfectly formed hearts. You noticed. Even accountants have imagination. How was your lamb? Skewered. On sympathizers. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Good evening, Miss Lynn. <laughs>